We are spotting, shining a spotlight on Broadway today with the thought-provoking drama Leopoldstadt. The play follows a Jewish family in Vienna over 50 years of pivotal historical moments. It was named the best theater of 2022 by the New York Times. And our next guest is at the center of it all. Please welcome Joshua Molina. Yes. 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 Yeah, thank you for having me, and thank you for teaching me what to do about my taxes and my urinary tract. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. This We're has been so a very course. educational He was episode. watching the entire Listen, show. Of course. I'll come back yeah. tomorrow. I'm an avid fan. Yes, this is a holistic approach to our guests. Yeah. I want to make sure you leave here totally fulfilled. We can talk about anything. All questions <laughs> okay, great. on the table. So this play is really incredible, but it does cover decades of history. In two hours, I mean, how do you narrow that down? It is incredible. It's an amazing piece of writing. It covers the fates and the loves and the relationships and the celebrations and uh, the times of a large intermarried, which is to say interfaith, Viennese family mm -hmm. from 1899 to 1955. Stoppard is a, Tom Stoppard, amazing writer, and uh, it's quite a feat. And even though it took place in the past, there are so many timely issues, obviously, yeah. you know, anti-Semitism, prejudice. What was that like being, you know, as an actor in the center of that, but also kind of splitting up your personal and your professional insights? That's a great question. Issues? Well, as a Jewish actor, it's very meaningful for me to be in this play that talks about uh, or deals with themes of family, identity, and faith and being aware, trying to be aware of where you are in the course of history. It's easy to watch the play as an audience member knowing where things are headed probably for this Jewish or intermarried family. Um, but hopefully people walk out thinking, maybe I should question where I am right now and how secure I feel in my life because as we know, anti-Semitism, racism are, are rife and still with us. Yeah. So important, yeah, and, and you, it's really surprising because I feel like everyone knows you from the screens. We've yeah. been watching you for years and yeah. years and years. A recognizable man in here. <laughs> but this is like on Broadway, this is only your second show and it's been 34 years. That is true, my first... aim is to do one every 34 years. <laughs> Should I live to 91, I will come back and plug my third Broadway show. Any, any nice memories from that time, though? That was well, oh, a few good men, right? I grew up uh, in the suburbs of New York in New Rochelle as a kid going to tons of theater, and my dream was to be on Broadway, and at 23 I had the good fortune to meet Aaron Sorkin, who mm. kind of shoved me into his show, A Few Good Men, and so I was living the dream. And I feel the same way now at 57 wow. as I go towards the theater. For sure. I can't believe I get to do this. Well, night. listen, right now you're in an ABC studio, and we all watched you on ABC on Scandal. I love my ABC. Do you yeah, miss Scandal? I, yes, every time I get my theater paycheck, I go, <laughs> <laughs> I really miss TV. I mean. But only then. Otherwise, no. I love doing it. But that's work. how we know we lo you love what you're doing, right? And you, you're from New York. You're back. What does this, it feel this like? This is the dream. This truly is the dream. I, this is like a pinch me job. Joshua, thank you so much for being <laughs> thank here. Thank you for of having course, me. Of uh, course, you can catch Leopold Stad at the Long Acre Theater on Broadway now through July 2nd. So thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.